Hey guys, welcome to this video and I'm going to show you guys how to use Chart.js from Chart.js.org and how to use this uh, library to basically create bar charts, donut charts, and line charts. There's more on the left here, but I'm just going to show you how to do the bar donut and line chart or the pie chart. And uh, let's get right into it. So the bar chart, oh, so the donut chart looks like this, the bar chart I showed you, and then the line chart looks like this, and you can change the smoothness of the curves as well, and there's all these options at the bottom here you can select. I'm, going, I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'm just going to show you how to install this in Vue.js 3. So let's get right into it. I'm going to first open up my folder and create a view project. So do view create practice a chart JS. Create a view three application. And as soon as this is done installing, I'll come back. Hey guys, so I'm back. VGS just installed, so let's cd into our project. Open folder. VGS. And where I just installed it, practice 8.chart.js. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is go to the documentation. And here we have. Um, getting started and installation we want we're going to use npm so copy that go back to our terminal and install npm.js then go to our source components hello view and I'm going to just uh, delete all the stuff that we don't need and we're going to first we're going to um, initialize the chart.js component chart.js uh, library in the component mounted section so we're going to go ahead and go to our props after props we're going to add mounted since this is composition api v3 we can just add it mounted here and i'm going ahead and go go ahead and going to place console log just to show you guys we have it working so npm run serve let's wait for that to compile up takes a few seconds the first time I'm doing this and wait for that to compile and finish and inspect console and we have component mounted so next we want to go ahead and go to our integration and we have to actually we have to go to usage and we have to import this canvas onto our template since that's where our um, that's where our chart is going to be made in, or generated in, or mounted in actually, rendered. And um, then we have to choose one of these. I'm going to choose document get element by ID. And I'm going to put that right here. Since we have to reference the my chart uh, canvas, so that's the reference with the, the ID right there. And then we have to go ahead and going to copy and paste this part as a boiler template so basically what this is is it is um, the type the type of um, chart that we're using this is going to be a bar chart labels red blue yellow etc data set the label of the um, data set um, the actual data the background color of each bar so this is for 12 this is for 19 this is for 3 etc and this is the border of the bar chart um, and options we are starting at zero, uh, zero but sometimes depending on which bar chart depending on which type of chart that we're using the chart types we might not use um, the options area but we are using it in the bar chart area so let's copy and paste this and this is where the chart is getting initialized right here so let's uh, paste that in right here then we have to um, copy and paste. We have to actually use. Well, I'm going to show you that in a bit. Uh, but chart is not defined here. Chart is not defined. I can go to our page and it says chart is not defined. That's because we have to um, go to our installation area and we have to actually import the npm npm that we just installed. So we're going to use this. This is the simplified version of here. You can use this, but this is simpler. This is one line code. Or if you want, you can customize 
um, imports based on just what you need so you can save on uh, the, the total file size. But here I'm just going to simply use this one. So go to import setting right here at the very top, do that. And then we have an error of my chart is assigned but never used. That's because that's just the VJS error. So we have to um, use that. If we do it at the top here, it's not going to work. It's going to give us a console error. It's um, unhandled hook. Try is not defined. We have to actually do it after the initialization. The order does matter in this case. So after your initial, after your new chart line here. So let's go down here and I think see if I do that I think it's right here so let's do my chart and refresh and there you go we have our first um, we have our bar chart uh, and then what we can do is we can also um, if we want if we want to if I change one of these um, if I change, let's say we change the last uh, background color to solid, then this one is solid. I'm just, or we can change the middle one to make this one a little uh, darker. So this one, this one will be darker here. Um, we can also change the color of the. Uh, I think I think two five five is black. I can't. I forgot. No, that's that must be white. If I go back here, change that. The border color is all black now, so the border color is black, so it's visible there. So uh, that's all good. And um, next, let's uh, let's try next. Uh, I can also show you how to do a double bar chart where there's uh, two bar charts in one area. So to do the group grouped bar chart where there's um, bar charts side by side like this. We have to replicate the data sets inside like this. So let's uh, copy and paste this part right here up to there. Put a comma there and paste. If I paste the second data set, now we have double data. Um, just to show you it works, I can change this to 29, make that to 15, 0.9 up high, and then 15 higher as well. So that's how I do the grouped. Um, charts you just replicate the data sets um, now that I show you how to do the um, bar chart let's go ahead and do the let's do the donut and pie chart so again we have to this one doesn't have the option um, the options uh, settings so we can delete that so we just need to type in the data so we are going to go ahead and copy and paste type the data right there so it looks like that and go to our setup copy our const data variable and we're gonna put that right outside here and if we go back let's see we have an error so let's go to error and okay so we after we copy and paste that we can refresh the page um, I just had an error right now but uh, the error just went away when we refresh the page so we do have our red, blue, and yellow, um, 350 and 100, the data points each. So that's how you do the um, pie or donut charts. You just have to copy and paste it and then adjust the values to your settings that you need. And then let's, last, let's do the line chart. Again, we just have to change the line sitting right here. So I'm going to change that to line, then go to setup, change our constant data. So the labels part is just for the labeling of the month, uh, months, and so let's do that right here. Let's copy and paste that right here. And then change, this is not gonna work, so we want to manually enter the uh, months in like that. Try to load, get a copilot right there for uh, filling in the data. So again, we have an error same errors right before but if you refresh the page it should work and there you go we have the um, the line chart this is good for um, different type of applications and I'm going to just show you guys the um, 
Bezier curve, I'm gonna change the Bezier curve to one, and then it's very smooth and round. I think 0 0.5 is usually a good value. So that's 0 0.5. If you want completely straight lines, you can just add it to, you can just set it to zero, and it'll give you completely straight edges, which is honestly good as well. So that's how you do the, uh, that's how you use the chart.js um, library in Vue 3. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next one.